Hey guys, my name is Chaotic and in this video I'm going to be showing you the top 10 best rare and secret vehicles available on GTA 5 Online. But just before this video begins, I would appreciate it greatly if you guys could just take a few seconds of your time to like this video as it would help me out greatly. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already as I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So anyway guys, let's get straight into this video. So to begin with, in 10th place I have a vehicle which isn't particularly secret or rare, but this vehicle recently became available on GTA 5 Online, and of course this vehicle is the sticker bomb car. So to obtain this vehicle, what you want to do is go on your phone, then go to the Southern San Andreas Super Autos, and you want to purchase the Azir, and of course you may need to replace a vehicle in your garage. Now once you have the vehicle, take it to the Los Santos Customs where you can then fully customise this car and you can fit the sticker bomb decals. With this car, you can in fact choose which panels you have the sticker bomb decals fitted to. You can of course do the front bumper as well as the left and right fenders as well as the bonnet, the roof and the trunk. Now unfortunately you can't actually do the doors and the rear panels which personally is a shame but it does look really cool once you have fitted the sticker bomb decals to it. There's also loads of other different customizations which you can also do on this car, such as lower the suspension as well as fit the spoiler. You can of course do a respray, have the Xeon lights and loads of other things. But anyway, as you can see in the video, once you have taken this car to the Los Santos Customs and you have fully customized it as well as added the sticker bomb decals to it, this car does look really cool and it's definitely worth having. Now as far as I'm aware, not many people actually have this car online, which kind of makes this kind of rare. But anyway, in 9th place I'm going to be showing you a vehicle which unfortunately is only available when you play the mission called Dirt Road. But as soon as you spawn in, you want to follow where I go, you run down this dirt track and park by the side of the road halfway down is the Caddis body. This is of course Trevor's truck from Story Mode and as you can see this is a very cool looking truck. This truck has several very cool features which make this truck look so much better. These features include the roof lights which have the chrome backing, as well as the rusty chrome bumper which allows you to smash into other vehicles and it results in very little damage actually taking place to your own vehicle and of course you're able to push other vehicles out of the way because this truck is very powerful. You can also get four people inside this truck, you can get two people in the two front seats and you can get two people in the back of the truck. Now the reason this truck is only in 9th place is because you can't actually store this truck inside your garage. In the previous updates, you used to be able to store this vehicle inside your garage. However, Rockstar recently patched that ability and you can no longer actually take this vehicle inside your garage, which personally is a real shame because I would really like to have this vehicle inside my garage to use online. The next vehicle which I'm going to be showing you the location of is the police riot van and I'm going to be awarding this vehicle 8th place in this video simply because this vehicle is badass. So to find this vehicle what you want to do is make your way to my location and this van should be parked outside the police station at any time of day just about every time that you make your way to this location. The reason why this police riot van is being featured in this video in 8th place is because this police riot van is really cool. It is completely armoured which means people can shoot at this van and you won't be able to take any damage whatsoever. I would say the only downside really with this van is the fact it doesn't have bulletproof tyres but you can smash into just about any vehicle on the road and you will take very little damage whatsoever. What's also really cool about this vehicle is people can hang from the sides of this vehicle and you can get loads of people on both sides as well as on the back. Unfortunately, you cannot store this vehicle inside your garage or buy it from the internet and have Pegasus deliver it to you, which personally is a real shame because this vehicle overall is really cool. The next vehicle which I'm going to be showing you, which personally deserves 7th place, is the Bugatti Veyron, also known as the Adder. Now this vehicle spawns in the same location both online and in story mode, and the online location was recently added to online in one of the most recent updates. So basically what you want to do to obtain the Adder online completely for free is make your way to my location, and it should be parked there any time of day. Now to increase the chance of it actually spawning in, I recommend driving up and down the road in another supercar and it should increase the chance of the adder spawning in. Now unfortunately you cannot take this back to your garage and take it inside as the vehicle is worth more than $50,000. The same applies if you try to take it to the Los Santos Customs, you cannot take it inside as the vehicle is too hot. 
However, there are glitches which allow you to take vehicles just like this one inside your garage without actually buying it, which means you can get vehicles just like this one completely for free. So I will have a link in the description to a full tutorial on how to get vehicles just like this one inside your garage without actually buying it. But anyway, as I'm sure you all know, this car is currently the fastest car available on GTA 5 Online. It's also worth a million dollars if you were to buy it from the Legendary Motorsport website. So of course, by going to the location which I have shown you, you can get this car completely for free. The next vehicle which I'm going to be showing you the location of is the hearse, also known as the funeral car. Now to actually get this vehicle to spawn in online is very difficult, it's a very rare car but the most common place to actually find this vehicle is at my current location just outside the church. But of course once you have this vehicle you can take it back to your garage and you can store it inside as a personal vehicle. You can also take it down to the Los Santos Customs where you can also fully customise it. Now the reason that this vehicle is in 6th place in this video is due to how rare this vehicle actually is. It is very difficult to get this vehicle to spawn in online, so if you do want to get this vehicle online you need to be very patient and just keep on driving up and down the road in a vehicle which is very similar to it. The next vehicle which I'm going to be showing you the location of is the Lost MC Burrito Van and I'm going to be awarding this vehicle 5th place in this video simply because this vehicle is awesome. So to obtain this vehicle, what you want to do is make your way to my location after 8pm and you want to start a gang attack. You of course want to complete the gang attack by passing it and once you have killed everyone, you will be able to obtain the Lost MC Burrito Van which will be parked in the exact same location where it is parked for me. As you can see in the video, this vehicle is already highly customised with things like the red roof spoiler, the roof lights and the red wheels. This vehicle is in fact based off the A-Team van which features both in the TV series and the movie. Now unfortunately you cannot actually store this vehicle inside your garage. When you try to take it inside it just says this vehicle cannot be stored which personally is a real shame but if you wanted to obtain this vehicle this is basically how you can do it. The next vehicle which I'm going to be showing you the location of is the panelless dune buggy which can be found at my location and this is the only location where you can actually find this vehicle. So as you can see there is a huge difference between this dune buggy and the one which you can buy from the internet. I personally think this dune buggy looks much better without any panels but I guess it comes down to personal opinions. As I'm sure you all know this is a great off-road vehicle. It is also very quick and it's great for just going over any type of terrain whatsoever. You can store this version of the dune buggy inside your garage as well as take it to the Los Santos Customs but unfortunately by taking it to the Los Santos Customs there are very few customizations actually available for this. I think the only things which you can actually do are fit explosives and sell it. The dune buggy itself isn't a very popular vehicle but overall I think this version of the dune buggy is much better than the version with the panels. In third place is the Obey Tailgater also known as Michael's car from story mode. So basically what you want to do to find this vehicle is make your way to my location. This is just outside the golf club in the car park. Now the only way to actually get this vehicle to spawn in is whenever Simeon requests this vehicle and you can check what vehicles he requests by going onto your phone and going to your messages. As long as this vehicle is a vehicle which Simeon wants, this vehicle will spawn in very easily at loads of different locations around the map but the easiest location to actually find this from is from the golf club car park. Now you can take this vehicle back to your garage and store it inside as well as take it down to the Los Santos Customs where it's fully customizable and there are loads of different extras which you can actually add onto this. As you can see I've already fully customized my car and it looks really cool in white with the black roof. You can also upgrade the rear and the front bumper as well as add the spoiler. You can tint the windows, change the wheels, you can also upgrade the hood as well and you can have vented hoods or you can just have the standard hood like I have but overall this is definitely a very cool car which is why this car deserves third place. The next vehicle is a vehicle which is very popular in the GTA 5 community. At first when you see this car it doesn't look very special whatsoever. It's very basic and it has very few things actually going for it. This vehicle of course is the Sultan RS and once you have taken this vehicle to the Los Santos Customs it is fully customizable and you can make this car look so much better than the actual standard version. So to obtain this vehicle there are loads of different locations where it can be found. These locations include the airport, 
Sandy Shores and the prison car park where I obtained mine. Personally the prison car park is the easiest location to find the Sultan RS at but as you can see once you have taken this car to the Los Santos Customs there are loads of different things which you can fit to this car to make this car look really cool. You can of course store this vehicle inside your garage. It's also a very expensive vehicle once you have fully customized it making this a very useful vehicle to use if you ever wanted to do an unlimited money glitch. And finally in first place we have the Mercenaries Jeep also known as the Canis Mesa and as I'm sure you all know to obtain this vehicle what you want to do is call Merryweather and you want to call mercenaries upon someone and as soon as they arrive you basically just want to take out the four people inside the jeep and you can then take this vehicle inside your garage and store it as a personal vehicle. I personally love this vehicle simply because it has loads of different customizations on it which make it look really cool. The customizations include things like the exterior roll cage, the front winch and bumper, it's also got a roof rack, roof lights, a snorkel, side steps, huge off-road wheels and tyres and a lift kit as well as many other things fitted to it as well. I in fact had a vehicle very similar to this one in real life. I didn't quite have as many customizations as this one but they were very similar. I personally think the best colour for this vehicle is either bright orange which is what my vehicle is in the video or lime green which is also a very nice colour for this vehicle. But anyway guys that is just about it for this video, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys could just take a few seconds of your time to like this video it would help me out greatly. Also be sure to leave a comment on this video and tell me what you thought about these vehicles and if you have not subscribed to my channel already I recommend that you do as I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. If you also want to see some more rare and secret vehicles I will have some links in the description to some more videos which I have uploaded which do contain some more rare and secret vehicles which are available on GTA 5 online. So anyway guys thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.